The contemporary artist that we're going to be studying today, her name is Yayoi Kusama, and she's a Japanese artist born in 1929. She is still alive. She's over 90 years old, and she's still making art. And if you look at her picture, she looks like a very interesting person. So she's a Japanese artist who is sometimes called the Princess of Polka Dot, and we'll see why that is in a second. But even if you just look at her photograph, her clothes has polka dots, and you can see some polka dots in the background. She's an artist who makes paintings, sculptures, does some performance art, and installations. Painting is when you paint a picture. Sculptures is when you build something out of different materials so that you can look at it from all sides. Performance art is kind of like dance, so she performs some of her artwork. Installation is putting artwork in a specific location, and that location has meaning to the work, and it is called an installation. Her artwork style is pop art, surrealism, and abstract expressionism. She's also influenced from many other types of art, which we'll be talking about later. Here's a map of the world. We are here in the USA, here's Michigan, and Japan is all the way over here in Asia. But here's China, where a lot of you guys study Chinese from. Here are some examples of her work. As we talked about before, she is the queen of polka dots, and she puts polka dots on pretty much everything, which is kind of cool. And polka dots is a pattern. It is repeating circles over and over and over. The reason why she likes to use polka dots in her work is because she felt that by drawing and painting many polka dots over and over and over, she could stop thinking about things that were worrying her. So art was her way of escaping her thoughts. You can see polka dots all over in her work. Some more polka dot work. And here is a picture of her painting polka dots on a clear piece of glass. So it looks like she's painting polka dots in the air, but there's actually a piece of glass right there. She also really likes drawing and painting and making pictures of pumpkins. She thinks that pumpkins represent everything that is good and nice, and she likes to use it in her artwork. And of course, she puts polka dots on it. This one here is very interesting. This room started as a white room with white furniture. And then she had a lot of children come to the space with polka dot round stickers. And they had children put the round stickers everywhere in the room. So she made this artwork with the children, which is pretty cool. So here are some of her more famous pieces of artwork. So we're gonna look at these a little bit closer. The first one is called Yellow Pumpkin. The next one is All the Eternal Love I Have for the Pumpkins. This one is interesting because the ceiling right here and the walls right here are mirrors. And these are 3D sculptures. Because there's mirrors everywhere, the pumpkins keep repeating and repeating. So the pumpkins also become a pattern. And it looks like there's pumpkins going on over and over forever and ever. So that's why it's called Eternal Love. Here's a sculpture. So sculpture again is something you can build and you can look at it from all three sides. It's not a flat piece of artwork. She doesn't just do pumpkins. She does many other things, but pretty much always she puts some polka dots on her work. And also she has these net patterns. You might find those in the other work that we looked at as well. Again, she likes to paint little tiny things over and over so that she can stop thinking about the things that she's worrying about. If you would like to learn more about this artist, you can access different resources from our slides. This is a biography talking about her life. Here's a quick video and another video and also another video that talks about a museum that has a lot of her artwork. 